everybody at one point or another has said, oh, you know, if you if you could just go back to September and, you know, put a hundred bucks on on that last place team to win the Super Bowl. To me, it's too much time to wait for your money back. So a couple different plays. Let's say you bet $10. That's your number, $10. And you'd like to put $10 on Calgary to cover to cover the spread this weekend. But you like Tulane like you do here in, here in a couple of weeks. And, and you'd like to get some action there. Well, or or you can work it with futures as well. You can work it with a Super Bowl bet. I, I've done that many times. We've, we've talked about that on these shows. So instead of betting $10 on Calgary, bet $9.50 on Calgary. And then take the remaining $0.50, cents, do a Calgary parlay with Tulane. And so you don't even see the difference. Very small percentage went on that parlay got you a little bit of action that's building up like a bank account on your future wager. And you can do that with whatever you like. You can put that on the, the Kansas City Chiefs to win the Super Bowl. And you, you, I do that with almost everything. I have futures everywhere. I have parlays down the road because you had said it earlier. By the time you get to this two lane game, you got a, you got a great hedge going. You got 30 plus wagers on two lane if you want if your sports book offers it you can take an early cash out on some of it let the rest ride you ju- you just have a lot of different options it becomes like trading futures at that point so that's really how you do it so we got montreal ottawa montreal is scary and ottawa hasn't figured out quarterback i i would argue though a cody cody is seeing limited action so he he's back in practice that that is a big deal although i this is not the best version of cody fajardo that that we've seen something's got to Something's got to click with with the coaching and the play calling, but but either way, that defense just hung forty one points on. Or I'm sorry, that that defense put him in a position to hang forty one points uh, on Sask. I wouldn't bet against Montreal at this point, and, and right now you only got to lay two and a half or three points to do it. You're so right because the Easy Sports data made this play so easy, and that's what I texted you about. In the second half, they've allowed eleven or less in all but one game, and nine or less in the rest of them. They only gave up 28 points to Toronto and 11 points to BC. Well, guess what? Toronto and BC are the two two of the best teams in the league. So if you take out those games, all teams not called BC or Toronto, no one has scored 19 on this team. Nobody. And no. guess what? The last time I looked, Ottawa is not pronounced BC or Toronto. No, and, I, and at this point, just looking at – it's a race for for both third place positions or the crossover. But right now, I, I feel good in saying these are the four that are going to be in that playoff. No, there, that hole on any given Saturday, uh, that's a take on the famous statement, but we're saying we're in Canada. So it really is true. But there are a few teams here, you know, there's not a chance in hell that they're going to beat uh, Toronto or Winnipeg or BC no. or Montreal. Montreal is without a doubt, in my mind, the, they've, they've, they've got the defense and defense wins championships and you got them at 12 to one. They, and a banger at running back when Stan back's in that lineup and he missed a lot of the season last year. So now you're looking, you're looking at on and Fletcher. They, they, they built depth last year with that. So defense, good banger at running back when it starts to get cold up North. Yeah. That running back position that has gotten, wow, how much publicity has it gotten, right, in on the in the NFL side in terms of contracts and, and holdouts and stuff. The CFL running backs, they earn every penny, don't they? They do, and it's really important because in the NFL, gaining two and three yards, that matters. They, they're trying to kill the clock. In the CFL, if you're a running back that's gaining two yards, you're putting your team in the hole because they only got one more chance to go eight more. And you look at Owlette from Toronto, and he's – banging six and seven yards and dragging the defense along with them and hurting them. It, you you look at what Andrew Harris did, you know, a couple of years ago. It, it's really these CFL running backs are very important because if, if, if you are going to run the ball, that guy's got to be good. You can, you can hide a mediocre running back in the NFL. Oh, second and four after a run and play. And that defense is on the heels. No doubt about it. 